What's going on? So while I am waiting for my new uh, HP Tuners device to show up in the mail, it should be coming in sometime soon. Hell, it actually hasn't even been shipped out yet. And I paid for two day shipping, so we'll see. I figured while I'm waiting, I'll go ahead and give an update on the custom breather system I've put in here and check on this and see how it's doing. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing in this video and just getting right into it. So the first thing I wanna do is the car is still like, yeah, it's still pretty warm. I just got back not long ago. So I wanna go ahead and come over here. I just wanna pop this off and see if there's a lot of uh, oil vapor still coming out of here. Yeah, there is. So, and that's exactly why I've added this tank because all that's just coming down in here and then venting out here. You can actually, when you turn the car off, you can smell it venting. Like it smells like oil. Um, so I know this is working uh, the way it, well, I intended it to at least. So I'm assuming, I'm gonna check the tank too. I'm assuming it should have oil in it, accumulated. But I wanna first go ahead and check the Mishimoto catch can and see how this is looking. I emptied this out when I installed all the new ones because I wanted to see how much accumulation happened in each one of these. So I emptied this out. And uh, let's see here. Okay, so that's caught a fair bit of nastiness as usual. So that's why I run these things. So this new combo here definitely creates a lot more oil vapor than the last engine did. So coming over here, let's go ahead and check this one. This one I never really expect to see anything in it or much, if anything, uh, only because this is also, you know, coming off the valve cover. So, but this one works under boost where that one over there does not. That one will not, well, I mean, I guess it could, but that's just more or less to relieve excess pressure that could be up in the top part here. But under boost, this one's actually gonna pull a vacuum and suck a lot of that oil vapor through. So it should have something in it, I would imagine. We'll see here just in a second. And this is actually the first time pulling this off since I put it on. So if there is an accumulation, this is the first time of me seeing it. And no, this thing's bone dry. That's crazy that there's nothing in it. It's dry, dry. Well, that's kind of weird to me. You think it wouldn't be? I'm pretty sure I have it hooked up right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I got, I got it right. I got, yeah, the right lines going to the right ports. So I guess, this one ends up being a little redundant with this one here. But the thing is, before I even added this line, this line, I know, because I could pop this line off, it was wet with oil. So I knew this line, there was oil vapor coming out of here, but I guess now that this line's here, this one, this one's redundant. Doesn't technically have to be here, I guess, but I'm still gonna run it because I haven't really been beaten on the car. I've barely been going wide open throttle. So I assume there's gonna be a point where this might still be beneficial once I start getting the car running good where I can go wide open throttle extended periods of time and when I start upping the boost. So I'm not gonna, you know, delete it or get rid of it. I'm just gonna keep it on there. Um, but it just seems like I've improved things so much with this line here, I don't necessarily need it. Now, this line here. Unfortunately, there's no easy way to check the level in this tank. There's a little valve on the bottom down right underneath here I can get to. Um, it's just, it's kind of a tight squeeze. I'm not even sure how I'm gonna drain it. I think what I'm gonna do is just get a paper towel because I don't think that much should be in there. And I'm just gonna undo that valve and try to let it drain out on a pa paper towel. That should do the trick. And we'll see if there's anything in there. I would imagine there's a lot in there. Um, or to some extent, there should be something in there. So we'll see here in just a second. So I'll put that under there like that. So I opened the valve, but nothing's coming out. 
something's coming out of there because my hands are getting oily but it's not either there's not that much accumulation in there or this valve sucks because i'm gonna go ahead and take my paper towel and you can see look there's oil on it so there's definitely oil in there so that's good at least i know it's working it's definitely some stuff in there just not as not as much as i thought man it's too dirty pollen everywhere tis the season at some point i may upgrade the baffle plate to an aftermarket one i just didn't want to spend 130 dollars for a piece i didn't think i need it when a factory piece of new is only 30 bucks so that may be something I will upgrade in the future, especially when I start running more boost. Um, and I may do something, I may actually run side baffle to a breather like this instead of a closed can like that. We'll see. I don't know. Um, but for now, this is definitely an improvement. So oil is coming in here. Nothing's over there. So this whole line should be dry going into the turbo, keeping everything good and clean and as far as i know i don't even think there's any more leaking going on that i was seeing before now since i've put this new breather system on i've also went around and this was before i put this on i tightened up a lot of these bolts that go on the front cover and that go on the oil pan and just went around it's possible some stuff had loosened up over time allowing oil to seep through but i also think there may have been a little bit of a pressure uh build up in certain areas pushing oil through as well which is what prompted me to put this together i'm gonna go ahead and just slide the gopro under the car here and check on the oil filter and uh yeah <laughs> it looks pretty dry under there yeah it actually looks pretty good uh there used to be like that little bit of oil that built up on the bottom of the oil filter um from the oil pan so if there's nothing under there it's all dry so that's good all the oil leaks are fixed for now <laughs> so that's nice my work here has <laughs> paid off between this and making sure everything was tight solved that issue and it's just future proofing this new engine for you know when when power does increase uh, man this thing ran on pollen it would be happier than a pig in mud but anywho we're all good under here so yeah i just wanted to make the video to kind of follow that up um just kind of put something in here between just keep things moving along until i get the hp tuner device i'm hoping that comes very soon and then we're gonna start having some fun so that's gonna that's exciting i i cannot wait for that um so until then i think it's gonna wrap it up here for this video so if you like the video please give it a thumbs up share it with everyone you know if you want to see more content like this and you haven't already go ahead and subscribe to the channel keep looking out for next cars creative video